Hello, I'm JQ on 2Q. We're the Q Brothers and this is Small Flower TV. And I woke up in the middle of the night with reflux. And I don't get it. <clears throat> I don't have chronic reflux. No, but it's Memorial Day weekend. A lot of going too much and ate too much sausage and just kind of did it up too hard. Yeah. You know. You gotta be careful there, little brother. I know, I know. But it's hopefully to your benefit because I'm going to try this out. <laughs> and uh, I haven't really had reflux very much. It's happened one other time. Um, and I didn't use this, so I w I'm excited to try this. Yeah, um, this is... This is slippery elm bark powder. Yeah. Um, which I used to use often when I was on tour in a rock band. I was in this punk band, and we I would scream and sing all night. And I was almost always losing my voice because I, I was not trained. And so uh, this would actually help um, restore some of that yeah. damage vocal cords. Yeah. It's um, like so a Native American there's herb, there's herb, right? Yeah, yeah. So, and, it, and it has, it's used, I, I think like, it, not, it does not become an infusion in water. Yeah, it, it, it's it's a a see, it almost becomes yeah, a suspension then, in like a, a gelatinous mu mucus-like substance. And it actually promotes mucus secretion, which is part of why it's often used in the digestive tract, where maybe you have areas that are irritated or have been made raw. It's you know, like for people with chronic or ulcers um, and things like that. Yeah, duodenal ulcers, anything like that. So my my dad recommends this all the time, and the way he recommends to take it, I'm going to do it a little differently. Um, he recommends it a lot for people who are suffering from stomach ulcers or for colitis and things like that. Mm -hmm. And so, but he tells them to take a spoonful in a huge boiling cup of water and stir it and keep stirring it so that it gets further down before it becomes a mucus-like substance. And hmm. for me, for upper stuff, I like to swallow the, yeah. the jello-like substance because I feel like it coats immediately. Yeah, it has a coating effect. That's the I have used it many so, times. So I like warm water here. Yeah, you can keep talking about it. No, you know, I was gonna say like I I don't get it anymore, thankfully. But I used to, back in my younger days, get a lot of uh, acid reflux. Like, um, you know, I get acid reflux, and and I use slippery elm bark powder a lot. And if it ever happens, only maybe once or twice a year, it happens now. Um, I definitely the first thing I reach for. And so it does. It has a great coating effect, a really soothing effect. And the thing that I like is you feel like, from what I know about it, you're getting some repair. It helps because of the muc mucus producing um, effect. You're repairing, helping repair those areas, but it's immediate pain relieving effect as well. Well, we'll see, because I'm dying. Okay. <laughs> so show the consistency. Drop, drop some off on the spoon. Now it's like, Goop. It's not like it's like a sticky pudding. <laughs> you know? Eat your sticky pudding. Okay, here we go. Ready? What's the flavor like? It's it pretty neutral. I mean it tastes a little bit like um oatmeal. And it's there's like a little slight, bit of maple. I'd say there's a slight sweet and natural sweetness mm -hmm. to it. I find it to be like sort of like Less flavorful than oatmeal, more like slightly sweet oatmeal-like sawdust. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. exactly what it's like. Yeah. Gruel. Sweet, sweet. Yeah, 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 exactly. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's not mucose. <laughs> that's not mucus-like. I don't know what it is. I mean, the texture's really bugging me out, kind of, but you get used to it. I kind of like it. Yeah, I mean, I don't mind it. Yeah, you made it a little thicker than I normally make it. Yeah. I mean, like, even someone who's sensitive to flavors and herbs would not have a problem with that. Right. That's, like, so benign, right? It's just nothing. Yeah. How do you feel? It's starting to, like, sort of cool its way down, down, down in there. And, like, yeah. it's made its way to about here. Yeah. You know? And it's working its way down. But it, it certainly feels... Like, I, I, like, up until this moment, I've been... It's not just like that it was hot and acidic, it's that I was tight all around it. Because yeah. I don't because I'm trying to keep it from coming up any higher, kind of. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And my muscles around there just finally relax for a little bit because it feels yeah. like something's working. And it probably will for me it usually takes about 10, 15 minutes. We're not gonna 
I mean, it's not immediate. Yeah, yeah, it's but, not, but there is some immediate. There is some immediate. Like, I'm feeling a little bit already. When you have an irritation, like if you have ever anything like you scratch your throat or something like that, this, you, taking it orally like this doesn't tend to stay in the throat as long as maybe a lozenge, but it's such a good feeling when your throat, have a sore throat, to have this, like, I don't know, it just feels like it coats it and immediately you're like, oh, no more burning. Well, anyway. Hopefully I'm good in a few more minutes. Uh, but anyway, Slippery Elm, we saw a ton of it. People get, people have a really good response to it. And I think it's... So anytime you're feeling like there's compromised lining, yeah. anywhere from the throat to where yeah, everything or, comes Or out. just <laughs> severe irritation. Yeah. Severe irritation, yeah. yeah. I think that makes sense. And I mean, for the price, you just like keep this in your medicine cabinet with your spices or your teas. And it's yeah, kind I mean, of thing like, like a spoonful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've had the months, same one yeah. for like th two or three years. I just keep it out of the sunlight and out of moisture, and it's still fine, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, Slippery Elm, come to the rescue of yeah. my brother. They're going to make Je Bill Cosby's working on the next Jello pudding. Yeah. yeah. I would like to give you some Slippery Elm, Bama. <laughs> Good job. <laughs>